Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about programming language questions, which are asked in 2007, 2008, and 2009 of computer science question paper of ISRO. So let's move on to the questions. Uh, first question is: uh, We have given a pseudocode and we have to calculate the value of the i at the end of the pseudocode. Okay. So here it is. Uh, X is initialized to one. I is initialized to one, and there is a while loop for X is less than equal to 1000 okay so it would begin at x is equal to 2 to the power x so i'll have x over value x over here i over here okay and here so now see x is equal to 1 y i is equal to 1 so x is less than uh, 1000 so it is 2 to the power x x is 2 to the power x so after the first iteration the value of x becomes 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 which is equal to 2 and i becomes i plus 1 which is equal to 2 okay so now x is 2 i is 2 now we will again check yes it is so now as it would be 2 to the x would be 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 4 and i is equal to 3 okay so now 4 is less than 1000 so okay next it is 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 16 and i would be equal to 4 okay next 16 is less than 1000 yes so we would be having 2 to the power 16 okay and here i would be 5 okay see 2 to the power 16 it is greater than 1000 okay so our value of i and the final uh, would be 5 so the answer is 5 we have a pseudo code over here okay so in this we have two terms that is x mod 10 and x by 10 okay and our input is 1 2 uh, 3 4 so there is a concept whenever we have 1 2 3 4 mod 10 okay so mod 10 would give us the last digit okay and divide by 10 if it, has, it is 1 2 3 4 divide by 10 okay so it would give the remaining digit except the last one okay so so mod 10 the output would be 4 for divided by 10 the output would be 1 2 3 so this is the concept in this question so let's solve the question okay the first we have 1 2 3 4 okay it is our input 1 2 3 4 and we have 1 2 3 4 mod 10 okay so uh, the first would be 1 2 3 4 mod 10 so the output would be 4 okay now if x by 10 is not equal to 0 so x by 10 is it is 1 2 3 4 by 10 okay it would be equal to 1 2 3 and it is not equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then we have to call what demo of 1 2 3 okay so now when demo of 1 2 3 will be called what would be printed x mod 10 that is 1 2 3 mod 10 so output would be 3 c first it is 4 then it is 3 so from first two digits only you know that the answer is d likewise when you solve all this you would get 2 and you would get 1 okay whenever this condition doesn't follow whenever this condition follows that is x mod 10 is not equal to 0 when x mod 10 becomes 0 then your output would be 1 2 3 and 4 so your answer would be D. D is answer. So after solving the first step itself, uh, the first digit is 4. So you know the answer is, it would start from 4 only. Okay. Next question. Which of the following programming languages provide garbage collection and the word is automatically? Okay. Uh, all these languages that is uh, C++, C and Fortran these do not provide automatic garbage collection okay so only Lisp is the answer so C, C++ and Fortran will not support auto garbage collection but Lisp will so Lisp is the answer so it is a uh, Lisp is the answer okay Lisp is, Lisp is the answer it is not C++ it is Lisp next the average case and worst case complexities of merge sort algorithm okay we are talking about merge sort so let's see other sorting algorithms also okay for quick sort the best case is n log n the average case is n log n and the worst case is order of n square it is for quick sort 
Merge sort is the sort in our question. The best case and the average case and worst case for all the merge sort has order of n log n. That is for the merge sort all cases are same. So it is D is the answer for the question but we can see for heap sort also heap sort and merge sort the uh, the average case and worst case are same it is n log n n log n but in heap sort the best case is order of n okay so you can see for all this but bubble sort uh, you have to remember generally the average cases okay for bubble insertion and selection the average and worst are order of n square okay and for heap and merge the average and worst case of n log n and for quick sort the average case is n log n but the worst case is order of n squared so d is the answer this is the answer okay next question the time taken by binary search algorithm to search a key in sorted array of n elements okay it is we are talking about binary search so in the binary search the worst case is order of log n because it would be in the form of tree so worst case and average case would be order of log n and the best case that is a root node is the node which we are searching so we would be having it as order of 1 so we are talking here about uh, only the time complexity so generally it is the average performance so it is log n so a would be our answer log n okay next which of the following is an illegal array definition? So, okay, for array definitions, uh, the array of uh, the index of the array can be an integer, should be an integer. Okay, so if we have a real number, should be an integer. So, if we have a real number, real number cannot be the option because real number we have negative values also so we cannot put negative values for array so the answer here is b oh sorry it is uh, shown here it is c but it is not c it is b b is our answer okay array index should be an integer so the real numbers cannot be used for indexing rest all character or can be used because the characters they start from the you can know the values just start from 65 enum can be used boolean can be used because they are also integers 0 and 1 so the answer is b okay next question consider the following c functions okay we have a function here here the special term which is used is static this would change the output uh, from the general okay <clears throat> the value written by f of 1 okay we have to calculate value written by f of 1 now what does this static int mean static int means the if if the value of i changes within a function the changed value was remain same okay let if uh, if i uh, call 100 times uh, f so the 99 times if uh, the function fn is called 100 times then the 99th time the value of i would be retained here okay it would not again initialize to 1 so let's see how it works okay for f of 1 okay we have f of 1 n is 1 if n is greater than equal to 5 okay then return n but 1 is not so we would be what would be doing is f of 1 okay so 1 is less than 5 if 1 is less than 5 what would be doing is we would be adding n is equal to n plus i okay so we would be having n and i would be having n is 1 okay i is 1 so answer is 2 n is 2 and i is i plus plus i is also 2 okay now again return fn we have to return now now n is 2 to 2 is greater than 5 2 is less than 5 so n would be equal to n plus i okay so n is uh, 2 and i is 2 so n would be equal to 4 c here the value of i is if fn is called the value of i is not again initialized to 1 the value of i is 2 that is previous time the value of i was 2 so that value has retained that is the work of this static keyword so this is the actual concept of this program okay so now n would be equal to 4 and i is i plus plus it would be equal to 3 okay now 4 is also less than 5 so n is equal to n plus i that is 4 plus 3 okay it would be 7 okay and i would be incremented by 1 that is 4 now see 7 is greater than 5 so 7 is greater than 5 so you have to return n okay so return n means we have to return 7 so 7 should be our answer 7 is our answer okay it is our answer 7 is our answer okay next question 
Okay, consider the following code segment for k is equal to 0, k is less than equal to 20 and k is equal to k plus 2. So, okay. So, the we are incrementing k by 2 till 20. So, our value would be, uh, I write it over here, value would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, uh, 16, 18 and 20. These would be the values of k, all the even numbers and if k mod 3 is equal to 1 that is if uh, after dividing the number by 3 it should be 1 okay so we are checking for the even numbers which after divided by 3 gives remainder 1 okay this is the answer so our, it is 3 so it is 4 because 4 mod 3 it gives 1 okay then it would be 10 because 10 mod 3 it gives 1 and the last number it would be 16 because 16 mod 3 would be 1 that is uh, th the number which is after multiple of 3 that is after 3 it is 4 after 9 it is 10 and after 15 it is 16 so we would be having our answer as 4 10 and 16 that is B should be our answer B is our an answer next okay what is the value of F4 using the following procedure so okay we have a procedure where k value of k is 4 uh, integer begin okay if k is less than 3 then f is equal to k okay if k is else that is if k is greater than 3 then this is our answer so how it is uh, how it solve it is I'll first check it as f for f of 4 f of 4 see k is greater than 4 so this would be our question okay so it would be f is equal to f of 3 into f of 2 plus f of 0 how it is 4 minus 1 it is 4 minus 2 and it is 4 minus sorry plus f of 1 it is 4 minus 3 this is how it is solved okay so if k is less than 3 it is for f it is f of 4 okay now what is f of 1 f of 1 is 1 okay f of 1 is 1 what is f of 2 f of 2 if k is less than 3 f is equal to 2 f of 2 is 2 okay into now what is f of 3 f of 3 see 3 is k is less than 3 if k is equal to 3 then this would be there so here we would be having it would be f of 2 into f of 1 plus f of 0 this is f of 3 now what is f of 2 f of 2 was 2 f of 1 was 1 and f of 0 would be it would be 0 only 0 so our answer is 2 cross 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 that is it is 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 so answer should be a okay a is answer it is 5 okay next question we can make a class abstract by okay uh, a class is abstract if it has at least one pure virtual function okay now what are pure virtual function pure virtual functions are the function without a function body suppose we have a function f1 this is a pure virtual function that is a function without a function body is a pure virtual function okay so you can if you have doubt with pure virtual function I have a may video made on what are pure virtual functions and what are abstract class you can go through that go through that video also okay so answer would be C that is making at least one member function as pure virtual function we can make a class abstract okay to the C next in C what is the effect of negative number in a field with specifier so what is the field with specifier while writing a printf statement uh, we write percent five D or percent D okay so this is the speed will specifier if we write in case of 5d we write minus 5d so minus 5 is left just justified left justified this minus it denotes left justification so the answer is C the values are displayed left justified okay next and one dimensional array a has indices 1 to 75 that is a12 a75 we have okay each element in a string can take up three memory words that is if the first element is at 0 the second would be at 3 the third would be at 6 
and so on that is uh, multiplication by 3 for next address okay the array is stored at 1 2 2 0 that is in place of 0 we have 1 1 2 0 okay so plus 3 sorry it is not multiplied by 3 it is plus 3 for mem every memory address plus 3 for every memory address the starting address so now we have to calculate the starting address of a49 so see how we would calculate our base address is 1120 okay plus we have to calculate the starting address of a49 so that is the ending address of 48 so it would be 48 into for every address we are adding 3 so it is 3 3 3 3 3 so for every number 1 into 3 2 into 3 3 into 3 that like that we we have 48 into 3 so the answer would be 1120 plus 144 so the answer is 1264 this should be our answer so it is C this is an option it is C should be our answer that is 126 the feature in object oriented programming language that allows the same operation to be carried out differently depending on the object so same operation different ways so that is polymorphism okay it is a this is our 14th question in this we have a subroutine which swaps two numbers that is ix and iy so this is 14 okay so it is uh, we are swapping this number over here okay this is the first subroutine and we have another subroutine and we have ia and, and ib and we are also swapping it but here the swapping is done by different that we are allocating a temporary name cell that is i plus we are uh, uh, saving it in i plus 5 ib plus 5 that is 8 plus uh, 5 it is 13 we are saving it as 13 initialize it to 13 and pass the address to the cell to swap okay so these are two ways to swap a number and we have to tell that which of the following is true or false okay the compiler will generate code to allocate a temporary nameless cell and initialize it to 13 and pass the address to the of the cell to swap yes it would do like that only because the i it, it denotes reference okay so we are uh, instead of using a, a temporary uh, variable we are using a temporary nameless cell we are not naming it here we are naming it as t but in this uh, we are not naming it we are just uh, it is a nameless cell and it would initialize to 3 so a s1 is true on execution the code will generate a runtime error on i1 no it won't because it is only address uh, assignment uh, reference okay nor s3 is false s2 is false s3 is false the program will print 13 and 8 yes it would print 39 and 8 okay so the answer is s1 and s4 is true s1 and s4 is true okay thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe and click the like button also thank you